this is Coaster Daddy and welcome back to another review. This time I'm talking about Intimidator at Carowinds, the hypercoaster manufactured by Bolliger and Mabillard, which opened in 2010. Intimidator is a massive ride standing at a height of 232 feet, has a drop of 211 feet, and it reaches a top speed of 75 miles per hour along its 5,316 feet of track. And the first drop is 74 degrees, so pretty steep as well. Intimidator is a really interesting ride to talk about for me because I got many different ride experiences on it, kind of all across the board. During my time at Carowinds, I rode Intimidator probably at least seven times, and I got a couple rides that I thought were really good, a couple rides I thought were pretty weak, and then there were a lot of rides that were just kind of in the middle. This coaster has been given the nickname Intrimidator, famously, by enthusiasts. I can definitely see why. This ride is really trimmed to death. Pretty much every single hill has a trim break on it. You go down the first drop, and then you have the second hill where you turn around, and the hill right after that has a trim break. And then you go through the overbank turnaround, and then you hit a couple more hills, and one of those hills also has a trim break. And then after that section, you also have the mid-course brake run, air quotes around mid-course. It's pretty much the end of the ride. After you drop off of the mid-course brake run, you just have the, what I like to call, obligatory Cedar Fair coaster ending where you have a helix and then a pop-up into the brakes. And that's the ride. I mean, the layout is pretty good, and even though it's really long, I mean, it's over 5,300 feet long, I just feel like it's short for some reason. And it's not a short ride, but it does feel like that. And overall, I was just left pretty underwhelmed, I guess I should say, because of all of those trim breaks, and there's just not great airtime. You do get some pretty good airtime going over some of those hills. A couple of the good rides I got did have pretty decent airtime, but still wasn't really strong. And I've heard that trimless rides on this are actually really good, and I could imagine that they are, because this ride has a pretty strong layout. It's just a really typical B&M Hyper layout, but still, it's good and it's airtime focused. Being my first B&M Hyper, and to date the only one that I've ridden, I was kind of underwhelmed with Intimidator. It's really hard for me to try to rank it and give it a score because of all the different rides I got on it, but I think taking all of that into consideration, I can give Intimidator a score of 8 out of 10. It's a very fun ride, has a decent length, pretty good drop. It does give some pretty good air time for the most part, and it has a decent enough layout, though nothing remarkable. Currently, I've been on 80 coasters, and Intimidator surprisingly doesn't even fall into my top 15. So I was left pretty underwhelmed by it. I believe it would fall probably just right outside of my top 15. I only actually have my top 15 ranked and it doesn't make it. I believe it'd probably be like number 16, maybe number 17. All in all, it's a ride that I have a hard time really laying down precise thoughts on and I would love to get a trimless ride on this someday. But that being said, this ride pretty much runs with trims all the time. There's a reason that they have them there, and they use them. They were always on when I wrote it. Let me know what you think about Intimidator in the comments, and how does it stack up compared to other B&M Hyper Coasters that you've been on. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be putting out more content in the very near future. Don't forget to like my page on Facebook, Coaster Daddy, and follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. I'm coming up on 450 subscribers right now, which is amazing. So thanks to all of you guys. I know I have a few really loyal viewers that are commenting all the time, and it's great to see you guys. I have a lot of new people that have joined me recently, so thank you. And be sure to stay tuned for some more awesome content. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.